In a small town nestled between the mountains, the nights were quiet, save for the occasional rustle of leaves in the wind. Officer John was the only cop on duty, patrolling the streets in his old, battered cruiser. He was a seasoned cop, with years of experience under his belt, but nothing could have prepared him for what was about to unfold. One night, as Officer John was making his rounds, he received a call about a disturbance at the old abandoned factory on the outskirts of town. The factory had been closed for years, but rumors of strange happenings and eerie sightings had plagued the town for decades. Ignoring the chills that ran down his spine, Officer John headed towards the factory. As he approached, he could see a faint light flickering in the distance. Drawing his gun, he cautiously made his way inside. The factory was a maze of corridors and rooms, each one darker and more foreboding than the last. The flickering light led him deeper into the belly of the building, where he stumbled upon a gruesome scene. A group of people dressed in tattered clothes and masks were performing a ritualistic ceremony, surrounded by candles and strange symbols. Officer John could feel the hairs on the back of his neck stand on end as he watched in horror. Before he could react, he was discovered. The group turned towards him, their eyes glowing in the dim light. With a guttural roar, they lunged at him, their hands reaching out to grab him. Officer John fought back, firing his gun wildly into the crowd. But the group seemed unfazed, their movements unnatural and inhuman. With a sinking feeling, Officer John realized that he was up against something far more sinister than he had ever encountered. Desperate, he turned and ran, the sounds of pursuit echoing behind him. He finally emerged from the factory, gasping for breath, only to find the town engulfed in darkness. The streetlights flickered and died, leaving him alone in the blackness. As he stood there, trying to catch his breath, he heard a whisper in the wind. It was a voice, cold and menacing, promising him that this was only the beginning. The town would never be the same again. And so, Officer John knew that his fight was far from over. He had stumbled upon a darkness that lurked in the shadows, and it would take everything he had to survive the night. With a deep breath, Officer John steadied himself. He knew he had to warn the town, but he also knew that no one would believe him. Determined to uncover the truth, he began to investigate the history of the town and the abandoned factory. What he discovered chilled him to the core. The factory had once been a place of unspeakable horrors, where a cult had performed dark rituals in the name of a forgotten god. The cult had been disbanded years ago, but it seemed that their influence still lingered. As Officer John delved deeper, he uncovered a series of disappearances and unexplained deaths that had plagued the town for decades. The cult's reach extended far beyond the factory, and its members were among the town's most prominent citizens. Armed with this knowledge, Officer John knew that he was facing a formidable foe. But he was not alone. With the help of a few brave townspeople who believed his story, he began to formulate a plan to confront the cult and put an end to their reign of terror once and for all. As the night wore on, Officer John and his allies gathered outside the factory, prepared to confront the cult and the darkness that had consumed their town. With a rallying cry, they stormed the building, ready to face whatever horrors lay within. What they found was beyond their worst nightmares. The cult had summoned a creature from the depths of the underworld, a monstrous abomination that towered over them, its eyes burning with malevolent intent. But Officer John was not one to back down from a fight. With a roar of defiance, he charged at the creature, his allies at his side. The battle was fierce and bloody, but in the end, they emerged victorious, the creature vanquished and the cult destroyed. As the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Officer John stood outside the factory, battered but triumphant. The town was safe once more, and the darkness that had threatened to consume it had been banished. But as he looked out over the quiet streets, Officer John knew that the battle was far from over. The cult may have been defeated, but there were other forces at work in the world, darker and more insidious than he could ever imagine. And he knew that he would always be ready to stand against them, to protect his town and all those who called it home. As the sun rose over the town, Officer John knew that the battle against darkness was an ongoing one. He had seen things that most people couldn't imagine, and he knew that there were other threats out there, waiting in the shadows. But he also knew that he wasn't alone. 
The townspeople had seen the truth of what lurked in the darkness, and they were ready to stand with him against it. Together, they would rebuild their town and ensure that the horrors of the past would never be repeated. As he walked through the quiet streets, Officer John felt a sense of peace. The town was safe, for now, but he knew that vigilance was key. The darkness would always be there, lurking at the edges of their world, but as long as they stood together, they would never be afraid. And so, Officer John continued his patrol, watching over the town that he had sworn to protect. He knew that there would be more nights like the one before, more battles to be fought, but he also knew that as long as he had the support of his friends and neighbors, he would never be alone in the dark.